Yo, what is up guys, this is DS right here and today we are going to talk about the third royal monster that you will encounter is none other than the big daddy himself, Gamoth. Gamoth is an extremely high HP monster with a, with, with a HP that is nearing 20,000. At this stage of the game, most of the monsters that we fight don't even come close to Gamoth. Gamoth has a main weakness of fire and his retreat condition is to be defeated with a Glavinous Kingship skill. At this point of the game, um, we don't really have a means to use Glavinous skill, hence our best bet is to actually use the Ratian armor with paintballs. Weakness-wise, Gamus is weak, mainly weak to hammer, but on specific parts such as the nose and the tail, they are weak to sword. Hence, it's best for us just to use a hammer all the way. Gamoth can actually be found in the Loloska region woodlands if you were to actually teleport to the caravan stand. Alright, with all that being said, now let's talk about what are some of Gamoth's attack patterns, what are his skills and some of the things that we need to take note of. Gamoth actually is a power user. He only just power attacks throughout the entire fight. He's a, that attacking pattern will not change. However, Gamoth has two AoE skills that is one after the other. So his first skill is called Snow Slurp. What Snow Slurp does is he would just basically, it is like a charging mechanic. Once he charges, you will see snow envelop around his body. Once that happens, you can target up to 5 body parts. Attacking each body part doesn't really make much um, difference, but it's just to do more damage. The next skill that Gamma would use is always an AoE skill and that cannot be stopped. Meaning to say, even if you were to use your kinship skill on that on the exact time when he's using that AoE, when he's using that skill, you can't stop him. The next turn, he will then use the AoE skill again. That AoE skill will more likely knock out anyone in your party, including your battle buddy. So the best bet is on how we can avoid such an attack is basically once he uses his first AoE skill, which is no slurp. The next AoE skill, once he's not targeting anyone, he's gonna use that big AoE. At that point of time, make sure you have a monster that has 100 kinship. Just ride that monster and just and just attack him. He will then use the AoE skill. But do note, when we are riding our monster, our monster won't die or won't be defeated, and we will just be simply knocked off. So what's going to happen is our monster will be left with one health and will be at full health. That is actually how to avoid the battle. Throughout the entire battle, he will continuously use power attacks. Then he will first use his first AoE skill, Snow Slurp. Then the next AoE skill, usually after a turn or two, he will then use the massive AoE skill. During that time, ride your monster and we are all good. Take note that the battle will be quite long because of Gamma's insane health pool, so make sure you have those healing items ready. And after Gamoth is weakened, you can, there is a clear distinction from his head and his nose that is clearly tilting extremely low towards the ground until his nose is touching the ground as well. I'm just going to put a side by side comparison video for you guys just to see the differences. But you can clearly see when he's weakened, his nose really touches the ground. And on the normal state, when he's not weakened, you know, he's just, ha his nose, he's just happily flinging around his nose. But that's all I have to share actually for Gamov. Gamov, by all means, it's a slightly unique monster um, or monster to fight against. But actually, but once you know about the trick against his AoE skill, you are more or less good. To, you are you are more or less good on this. With all that being said, I don't thank you so much, guys, again for watching this video, and I hope you guys have some key intakes on this. Um, please let me know if there's any areas you guys want me to cover more next time or how I can improve. But as always, you know, leave a thumbs up if you guys like the video. Subscribe for more Monster Hunter Story 2 content. And as always, stay safe. Alright guys, and God bless.